Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we'll see about the basic introduction about the Google Earth Engine code editor. So you can able to see this interface. There are many options are available like script, then DOCs, assets, then get link, save, run. And there are also, if you'll see this inspector, console and task. So many options are there here in the Google Earth Engine code editor. So that we'll see one by one in details. And this is the also you can able to see map canvas also showing here. So first we'll see about this script. Okay, new script we can able to add and edit here. So if you want to see the more detail, you can able to visit this uh, guide is given here, user guide. If you'll go into user guide, we'll able to see the more details about the each tool which are showing here. Okay, so like Earth Engine Code Editor. So the Earth Engine Code Editor at this website is given and is a web-based id for the earth engine javascript api okay this code editor feature designed to make developing complex geospatial workflow fast and easy so this javascript code editor then so many options are available here if you'll see this and this interface okay so details are given here so this option is a new script okay so this is the code editor where we can able to add script and edit script. Okay. Then here we can able to save our script. Then these are some geometry tools are there, point line and polygon. Then zoom in, zoom out option also available there. Then we can able to see map satellites. So all these things we are going to see one by one in details. So first thing is that we'll see about this new script code editor. Like suppose if you'll search here anything, like you will search here Sentinel, Sentinel 2, I will search, okay. So once I will search the Sentinel 2, you will get here the details about the Sentinel, okay. So cloud probability and all these details are given here. And if you want to import the script, you can import from here. So whatever will you import, it will add here, okay. Like you can able to search whatever you want to search here. Like if you want to search a Landsat 8, you will able to search for Landsat 8 as well here. Okay. So it's based on you, whatever you want to search. If you'll click here, you can import here as well. Okay. So after that, in the new script, we have seen we can able to write the script. Then we can import from here. And also, suppose already some script are there, you can able to copy the script whatever the portion you want and you can able to paste it here as well okay and if you want to delete this whatever you have added so you can able to delete from here as well okay then suppose you want to add some shape file to it okay that also you can able to do and this portion is for the map portion you can able to zoom in zoom out Okay, you can also able to change the map view to satellite view as well. Okay, so also you can able to get the, you can also share the link, whatever the link you will copy from here, you can able to share link in other platform as well. Okay, and you can able to share this link to your friend or anyone, those who are working. After that, you can able to save this link, whatever the thing I have added here, if you want to save this, you can just click on this save as and whatever thing you will save like Landsat. Okay. If you'll type here and if you'll write and just click on okay. So whatever you have, whatever the script you have written and if you save it, then you can able to save this in the script. Okay. So here I have saved Landsat. So same script we can able to save here in the script portion. After that, run option is there okay so suppose this script i have written and i want to run this script so i can able to run this script as well okay so this saying that roi is not defined so i i need to add a shape file okay what are the shape file is there for the region i want to show like if i'll go to asset and i'm interested to add a shape file here okay so let i will add shape file so the option is there new then shape file option is there. You can able to add GOT file, CSV file, shape file. 
So shape file is dot shp dot shx dot dbf. That file you can able to add. So I'll just click on the shape file option. So here the select option is there. We need to select and we need to go to the folder where we have saved our file. Okay. So let I'll click on the select. Like I have some shape file that I want to add here. Okay. So in this digitization folder, I have this shape file. Okay. So I will press shift and I will select all. Okay. From that, I just want this dot shp dot dbf dot prj dot shx. So what are the file I want to add that I need to select. So this Microsoft file is not there. This Adobe Illustrator file are not there. So this remaining shp, sb and prj that all require. So I'll just click and open. It says that the there should not have any space. Okay. What are the file we are adding? It should not have any space. So we need to remove the space first. Okay. Now we are going to remove that. So let I will remove the space from this. So let I will rename this and I will remove the space from it. Okay. So I will just add underscore here. What are the shape file is there? So now I have removed space from all of this file. Okay. Let I will add this file now in Google Earth Engine. So just click on select. Then I will select all and I will remove this and I will just click on open. Okay. Now it is added. So we have removed the space in between block and name. I will provide the same name block name and I will just click on upload. Once it is uploaded, you will be able to see it is showing in task. Okay. So it is showing in task. So we're able to see the application of all of these tools. So first we have added the script here. You can copy and paste script or you can type script here. Then whatever the code you will run from here, you will see in the task manager. Okay. So, so this, So this is running now. Okay. It will take a little bit time to upload this file. So it shows that the right tick here means this is successfully uh, task is submitted here. And for to see this file, we need to go to asset right now. It is not showing me here. So once I'll refresh it, you will able to see whatever you are, this account is there. In that account, you'll be able to see the block name file. Okay. So same file, which we have shape file with that we have added here. Okay. And if you click here, it will show the location, which file it is. And if you want to import this file, okay. Like suppose you want to add this file here, then you can able to add this file. So you need to click on the import. Okay. Once you'll click on the import, this file will add here. You can also import from here as well, or else you can able to open this and you can able to import here. So I have given this file as a ROI name. So I'll add here as a ROI, ROI, enter. Okay. So this previously created, uh, I will delete. So this shape file I have added, and now I will click on run. Then this I will comment. Okay, let I will comment this. So if you want to add a comment, just press control and slash, then you can able to add as a comment to this, then click on the run. In the console, you will see the error at which line you are getting the error that location you will able to see this comment. Okay, like suppose I don't want to see this, I will just comment this. And if I'll click on run here, then you will able to see this script, the shape file, which I have added, you can able to see here. Okay. The file and this file, 
we just added from here we went to the new script and from here we have uploaded so this successfully submitted we just re refresh and uh, this is not required i'll just delete from here and just need to add a shape file and add and just type map dot add layer okay map dot add layer and in bracket what are the name you will provide to the file that we need to type roi and this semicolon and just click on run so we can able to add our shape file here okay it is very easy to add our shape file and after that if you want to do anything want to show map of this this location that we'll see in the further classes but it is very easy to just add a shape file similar way you can able to add geotiff file and csv file as well here so these are the task manager then this is the console what are the error you will get it will show in the console then this inspector tool is there like suppose when you will go to this tool you will get the plus icon and if you want to see the more details about this location if you click here you will get the all the detail about the latitude and longitude of that location okay if you will click any particular location you will get the latitude longitude about that this locations then and if you want to save this shape file this shape file is already saved but if you are any script then you also you can able to save this then in the doc in the doc you will see the many documents like if you want to like suppose you want to do classification using different different algorithms like you want to do the lulc classification okay so in that this classification tool you can able to use here okay if you want to do the confusion matrix so here are some classification tools are like decision tree then there are svm classifications are there then later on if you want to do the some confusion matrix accuracy assessment then you can able to use these functions okay that accuracy array all this you can able to use so in the asset you will see what are the shape file you have saved in the script manager you can able to see what are the script you have saved then here you can able to task manager you able to see all the longer tasks that you want to export it to your drive also from here and these are the you can able to check the map from here if you want to see the terrain you can able to see the terrains okay this will give us little bit 3d perspective about the study area and there are so many features like if you want to add a point here you can able to add a point here as well okay what are the point you want to add you want to draw a line you can able to draw the line as well here then if you want to draw rectangle then you can able to draw the rectangle here so point line polygon you can you can able to draw from here you can able to zoom in and zoom out to the feature okay what are the feature you want to zoom in and zoom out you can able to zoom from here so this is just a basic introduction about the interface of this google earth engine for more detail we'll see in the next class if you are having any doubt regarding all these things you can ask me in the comment sections thank you Thank you.